Hey everyone, it's Windows Fixer here. Today I'm going to show you how to get true stretched resolution in Valorant without using any third-party tools. I don't know why people keep recommending different software for this when you can achieve the exact same stretched effect just like pro players such as Roswu and Nats. They use the same method and I'll be explaining it step by step in this video. So if you want that stretched res without quality loss or input delay, stick around. Before we jump into the setup, let's quickly talk about stretched resolutions. There are actually two types. The first one is true stretched resolution, where everything, including the UI and crosshair, gets stretched properly. This is what most pro players use because it makes enemies appear wider, giving a slight advantage in aiming. The second type is fake stretched resolution, where only the game world gets stretched, but the UI and crosshair remain the same. This happens when you don't adjust the resolution properly through Windows settings and it's not the ideal way to play. The method I'm about to show you will give you the proper true stretched resolution, just like pro players use without any extra tools or weird workarounds. Right now I'm using 1280 by 1040, 5 to 4, and I've noticed that even slight changes can mess up the quality, making textures look worse in-game. Some resolutions might work fine without much tweaking, but true stretched resolution won't work properly unless you adjust a few things in NVIDIA control panel. That's where people get confused and end up using third-party tools, which not only don't help, but can also get you banned for no reason. So, let's set it up the right way. First, open NVIDIA control panel. You can find it in the system tray or just right-click on your desktop and select it. Once it's open, look for change resolution in the left side panel and click on it. Now, click the Customize button. A new window will pop up, check Enable Resolutions Not Exposed by the Display, then click Create Custom Resolution. Here, enter your preferred horizontal pixels and vertical lines. For example, the YouTuber Razu uses 1280 by 960, so if you want the same settings, just enter 1280 for horizontal pixels and 960 for vertical lines. Next, set your refresh rate to whatever your monitor supports, then click Test and OK. In my case, I've already created all these resolutions, and some were even available by default, like the one Razu uses. Now go to Adjust Desktop Size and Position in NVIDIA Control Panel. At this point, we're not changing the resolution. These custom resolutions are just for the game. We'll apply them in Valorant, and if needed, we can tweak them later. In the Scaling section, select Full Screen Mode. Then, under Perform Scaling On, it's set to Display by Default. Change it to GPU instead. Once done, click Apply to save the settings. A pop-up will appear. Just click Yes to confirm. Now go to Manage 3D Settings in NVIDIA Control Panel and make sure DSR Factors is turned off. This prevents any unwanted resolution scaling that could mess with the stretched effect. Once everything is set up, it's time to jump back into the game. Now this is it. Set your display mode to Windowed Full Screen in Valorant. This will stretch the resolution to match your desktop settings. Now open NVIDIA control panel by pressing the Windows key, going to the tray icon, clicking the arrow, and selecting NVIDIA control panel. Once inside, go back to change resolution, select the custom resolution you created earlier, and hit apply. Now switch back to the game, you'll see better quality and a proper stretched resolution. If you ever want to try a different resolution, just go to Valorant settings, switch display mode back to full screen, then choose your favorite stretched resolution and apply it. No extra tweaks are needed, it will set everything automatically. If you're seeing black bars like a movie screen, here's how to fix it. Close Valorant first. Then let me reset my resolution back to normal, because when I don't play Valorant, I don't like stretch resolution anyways. Open the Run dialog box. Press Windows plus R, or just click the Windows icon and search for Run. Type App Data and press Enter. Go to the local folder, then find Valorant, press V to jump to it quickly. Open the Valorant folder, then go to Saved Greater Than Config. Here you'll see multiple folders. Each one contains settings for different accounts. Click the Date Modified column to sort them and open the most recent one, your latest logged in account. Go to the Windows folder, then open GameUserSettings.ini, it will open in Notepad. 
find bshould letterbox equals true and change it to false manually. Click file greater than save and that's it. That's all guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Until then, take care and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.